Hey there, Jim and Cindy here from Out of Pocket. Today, we're gonna to be doing a video that I'm really excited to do. I've been waiting to do this one. One of the best things about the Pocket is it comes with an air conditioner that you can run so it's cooler when you sleep. I hate sleeping in the heat, and this thing has an air conditioner for where we sleep. We've never used it, though. Now, the trick with the air conditioner is it's a 120-volt system. So if you watched any of our other videos, you know that this van <laughs> has 120-volt uh, electrical system, but it only operates if you're plugged into shore power or if you're hooked up to a generator. So we have this generator that we researched and selected um, and have never hooked it up to the van before. This will be the, literally the first time we've hooked it up and then the first time we'll have ever turned on the air conditioning. So we're going to have to see if this works. It's after Memorial Day and things are getting hot, so we moved the van out, parked it in the sun. Right now it's cooking and we'll see if that air conditioner works. So as far as the generator, um, I did a lot of research and I decided I wanted a dual fuel generator. So this particular one will run off propane, which is what I plan to do. We're already hauling around a propane tank in the van and uh, that'll be much easier than having to do, do gasoline. Um, and the propane, we won't be needing it for heat. So if it's hot out, really that propane uh, can be there to, to fuel the generator. So this is a dual fuel generator I did a lot of research on this Mach 10 air conditioner and how much power you need, particularly to start it up. This is going to be on the marginal side. Um, when running on, on gas, it's 2550 watts peak, 1800 running. When running on propane, it's 2300 watts peak and 1600 watts running. So I honestly don't know if it's going to be enough, um, but we have a backup plan. But in any case, we're going to take a crack at it and see if this is going to drive the air conditioner for us today. But first we have to show you how we're going to set up this generator and hook it up into the propane system. So let's do it. All right. Okay, so the first thing I needed to do is figure out how to hook it into the propane system in the van. You may recall this is where the propane tank lives in this van, right in this compartment. Here. So if you look in there, you saw from one of the earlier videos that we have a little meter on there that tells us how much propane um, is there and then that feeds into the van. So what I did was I made this thing. Um, this started as a type of propane splitter that I got on Amazon which had like this and a valve on each side and two hoses but I modified it so I have this on off valve just on one side. So what I plan to do is hook this up to what's there now. Put the van into this so that's always permanently connected and then this will be the control for the supply to the generator. And Then this will go through this long hose through there and I had to use this adapter and it gets to here and then this is going to connect to this thing that came with the generator. So this will be attached to that and this can all sit outside and it'll come out this little compartment right here. So the generator can be right on the ground. This hose will come down and feed the generator and here's the power input to the van. So that's how I plan to set it up. So I'm going to hook this up for the first time now and let's see how it works out. Okay, I've got my splitter system hooked up. The van is reconnected. I turned the gas tank back on and smelled 
for any propane. I really didn't smell any. I still have the little red valve off that's going to feed this. So the next thing to do is I'm going to plug this um, into the generator and we'll get that going. This is the gas input. Now this generator, like I said, I've never hooked it up to the van before, but I have I've gone through the kind of break-in process, which they want you to run it about five hours with little to half load. So I have done that. All right, so that's on. So let's turn the gas valve on. I heard it. And then I have to do this thing to purge the line. Okay, that seemed to work. Now let's try to put the generator on. Choke. Look at that. It's running from the propane in the van. That worked well. Look at all this cord. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Okay, the generator is running. As you can hear, it's really not that loud. Um, it's a relatively quiet generator. When it's on, you have these little lights on the side so you can tell that it's, it's running. This is the short power cable I got specifically to hook up the van to this generator. So I'm going to do that now for the first time ever. This has a nice little this generator set up for an RV already. It has the right, right connector. Alright, that's in. on so we're currently powering the van off the generator so, so far so good so let's turn on the air conditioning let's see what happens all right it's almost 81 in, in the van it's actually pretty hot in it's here unpleasant in 77 here. out all right Cindy's gonna uh, she's up on the bed hi and uh, low what fan you, yeah let's try low fan first all right I hear it. I hear it. I can't believe this is low. It's hot though. And yeah. hot air. Well, there's no air conditioning. Right, right. But it works. Yeah, all right. Is high fan next? Ready for high fan. Okay. All That's right. higher. All right. Are you ready? Low cool. I could hear the, the surge of the, of the generator. Do you feel any cold air? Probably yeah. gonna take a minute. Yeah, I know. It's got a not yet. Can I mention how much I love that this is over the bed? <laughs> <laughs> like yes, and they've got these cool little vents out here in different directions, and these like it's fan central, but nothing turned off. So it was obviously all right for the circuit breaker, the load for the electrical system. As long as the compressor is kicked in. Right. That's the right. key. Okay. Well, why don't you put it on high, high cool because I'm like Ready? overheating over here. All right. Hang on. Low cool. Here it goes. Oh, but we also didn't change the temperature. Right? Okay. Yeah. Is it on cold? <laughs> oh. There we go. That was it. That, that was wow, that problem. generator is running now. Now it's working. I love this thing. <laughs> I feel it. You feel it's the, the cold air now? now. All right, all right. We're gonna give it a couple minutes. And then we'll we'll keep we'll an check eye in. on the yeah. temperature the gauge. Temperature gauge. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. It's the generator's a little louder now. It's working, but there's no overload warning. So it's.
Okay, so that, that worked great. We're going to let the generator cool down now. The other thing I realized is I really don't think I need this intermediate part. Like, that's plenty long enough, just right there, to power the generator. Well, that was a huge success. The air conditioner turned on with the generator, and it brought the temperature in the inside of the pocket down 10 degrees in 25 minutes, even while the pocket was in the sun. It was a terrific success. There was enough power in the generator to start the air conditioner and run it on high without even needing a, st a soft start. So that was kind of my backup plan. Um, you can get a module that mounts in this air conditioner, it's called a soft start, and that reduces the amount of power it draws right at startup time, which is when it needs that peak power. So because I had that soft start as an option, that's why I was confident buying this generator even though I couldn't test it, but I'm so thrilled that it worked, that I can run it off propane, and um, that it has enough power to do what we wanted. The only thing that we didn't test today was while the air conditioner is on full, engaging the charging of the batteries if they were starting to run low or something. So that's something just to be aware of. Our batteries were fully charged, so they just they weren't going to kick in for this test. Um, but so far, it looks like it has plenty of power and should be successful. The other thing we did was we checked around the pocket as far as storing this thing. You're supposed to store them standing up, so with that limitation, really the only thing you can do is carry them in the cargo area. Um, but other than that, super thrilled yeah. with the experiment today. So happy it worked and the hookup for the propane, everything else. Hopefully you all found this helpful and will now, you know, when you look to get a generator to power your van, we'll know what type of size might be enough to pull it off. So thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time. And remember, like and subscribe. See you then.